Hey friend, good morning. Welcome to Northern Idaho on Levi's big solo road trip van life thingy. I've got something that I've taken all the way to Alaska and then now down to Southern California in this van that I wanna show you real quick. Over here, this right here. So back when I was designing this build, I did a ton of research on what suspension parts and upgrades to potentially do. And I had known about this company that made specific lift kits just for these vans for a while, and that is the Van Compass. And so I asked them for a list of recommended installers along the coast, but uh, we didn't end up traveling down the coast to get here. And so I reached back out and they mentioned, why don't you just stop by the headquarters on the way back up to Canada and uh, we'll get that stuff installed. Look at those beautiful vans. Things are at the deconstruction stage, starting at the rear, just removing a lot of components and getting ready to drop things down. These guys add lift to the front, so these kind of act as a massive spacer down there. The little guys like this, this is what relocates the sway bar, so that way it still keeps the same geometry, but gives you a new mounting position. So I was gonna do this with jack stands in my driveway, uh, which would have been a lot more hassle because I just don't have all the proper equipment and these guys know what they are doing. So it's so cool just watching them uh, get after it and I'm trying to stay out of their way. It's one of those things where if I was helping, it would be slowing them down, but uh, man, they really know their stuff and they love vans, which is super cool. We're about to swap springs too. We're, yeah. we're getting there, it's just, this is a Canada van, so. A little rusty, so some of the bolts are fighting us and we're having to cut some stuff out, but we'll get it. Not too bad. <laughs> Beautiful. You got the spring off. You got it. <laughs> cut the bolt out. That was fine. Need it. Can you explain this to me, Mark? So what's uh What's the su surprise upgrade I'm doing today as well? So here's your factory spring. It's just a mono leaf, a parabolic style spring. We're going to go to a seven leaf springs instead. That's going to lift the van uh, two inches, maybe even a little bit more. Have some more spring rate for the extra load that the van carries. Right. And yeah, we're just working on getting those in there. <laughs> These springs are so hefty in comparison. It's got, it's awesome. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Time for this guy. Yeah. So what makes these guys special is they can be more tuned specifically for the heavier weight and they have the reservoir so you can adjust the dampening. Kind yeah, of thing. even if you didn't have the adjuster, like the adjustable resis, you just got the standard body IFPs, just the monotube design. And, and again, because we tune, we go into the shock and tune it for the weight of the van. Right. It just drives better, a hundred times better than what the factory shocks that were in there. So yeah. You're gonna be stoked. This would be really, really nice improvement. springs in there. Looks better without the flare. It looks great without the flare. I, sh I should have lost my wheel on the highway a lot sooner so yeah. that way I would have known. Yeah. <laughs> this is so sick. The rear is done and the ride height 
is fantastic. Like it looks, it looks like there's so much room to just go bumping down some roads and the, and the wheel actually has space to move. Those springs are doing a lot of work and uh, it's pretty great. I wanted to take a quick break to tell you about the sponsor of this video, and that is our friends over at Squarespace. If you've never built a website before and you've been thinking about doing it and you maybe you've been intimidated thinking, ah, there's all these different services I have to use and it's gonna be really complicated or maybe I need to hire a web developer and it's gonna cost thousands of dollars and maybe it's just more work than it's worth. Well, if that's you, then I highly recommend checking out Squarespace because they've made it super simple with their all-in-one platform for getting a beautiful website up and running within moments. I think you'd be very surprised about the robust feature set that they have built into their platform where you can get an online store up and running, you can accept payments from your customers, you've got advanced scheduling functionality, and the best part is, is that you don't need any experience to get started. So I recommend heading over and just start building a site for free. Use a trial, just see what it looks like. Don't let any excuses stop you. And when you're ready to commit, make sure that you use my code for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I'm appreciating the headspace of Mark and Rob. Uh, they're they're the real deal, and that's that's fun to be able to say as a customer who's spent a lot of money with them so far. They don't they normally don't even do installs, so I feel uh, very uh, privileged to be able to have them actually wrenching on my van the parts that they designed and built. A lot of people get sold a bunch of crap they don't need. We get people all the time that come to us and we just like try to talk them out of things. We're like, no, four or 500 bucks, 300 bucks for a pair of shocks and then call me back. Rob, you're doing capitalism wrong when you're telling I, people I to know. stop buying things. I know, I love that. <laughs> we're, we're, we want to be here for a long time. So yeah. we're going to keep doing, making parts. We want our customers just to be, I'm so glad I bought their, that one part. Right. And then a year from now, maybe they'll call us back and get sure. some other cool parts that we make and just push their van that much further. Yeah. That's the thing. I'll stop bugging you and let no, you do your work. <laughs> Pretty much done disassembling. Right. So we're about to do the subframe drop right. and then we'll start reassembling. Right. And now it's pretty much downhill. All the rustiness is off, so now right. it's. So here in the front now, the subframe has an extra two inches with this drop uh, spacer, which makes uh, more room in the whole wheel well here. The cool thing too now is because this is brought down two inches, the motor's still in the same spot. So all your vital engine That's components, is, yeah, it's higher up now. Okay, they just finished up on the front. We're gonna drop this thing on the ground, see what it looks like. Okay, so I wanted to 
wanted to show you some photos of the transition the van has gone through throughout the years. So this is the earliest photo I have of the van with the stock wheels when I bought it. Here's the new tires after I upgraded them. Again, keep in mind that there's not much weight in the van. It's a pretty light van at this point. Now here's the van and with a lot of weight in it, so you can really see it sitting down. Now here's a picture of the new rims because because why not? And now here is the van with the new suspension and lift kit and leaf springs installed. So you can see the ride height has changed front and back. As well, the back fender plastic flare thing is also removed so that gives the apparent increase in wheel well size. The van here in this photo is on the lighter side. The water tank is empty and we don't have tons of supplies in it as if we were going on a big trip. So as we added weight back into it, we would still have tons of room for that rear suspension to travel. What's the story behind this van here? How did this come about? This was it's a 2015 Transit. I uh, bought it to make parts for two-wheel drive Transit. So right. it was two-wheel drive, made lift kits, made some shock packages, some rocker guards and skid plates and things from it and decided to convert it four-wheel drive for our next thing and kind of attention grabbing shop van so it has, this is this is know. the biggest high roof van i've seen in my entire life it hasn't fallen over yet <laughs> <laughs> have it's, you gotten it up on two wheels before or just three or uh three a little bit it actually does articulate pretty good right um it's basically craigslist f350 axles that i got for 800 bucks we made custom springs. Uh, the whole undercarriage is all custom. It has a divorced Atlas II transfer case with a three three to one low range, so twin sticks, so you can do like two wheel drive low or front low. So that's kind of neat. Um, so it, it is a serious four by four, not just a pretend yeah, it's all wheel drive. <laughs> How often are people uh, asking at a gas station where you got this thing from? Um, pretty much every time I stop, <laughs> I end up having a conversation. So, but that was why we built it. Right. This is our aluminum kitchen galley we have here that just you know, simple, like fold down doors. Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, nice big fridge. And then this is our bed that basically you put some, these bars here right. go into slots and then this just hinges down hang out in here working on making some actual seating down here too so during the day we can flip the bed up and have the doors open and like eat lunch in here and things so it's kind of like a toy hauler because i know i'm not living in it so it's right. more just uh go to home depot still and all that stuff <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I like it. I, and it's like 5.30. I'm so impressed that you guys pulled that off. Yeah, I was gonna, I was worried that we were gonna be here a little later. <laughs> was, she was, she didn't really want those things. <laughs> yeah, a lot the, of those bolts didn't want to come out. There's a lot of Can Canada that came There's down There's a lot of me. Canada on there, yeah. <laughs> Feels really good. You're gonna be, it's a cloud now. It's awesome. Going. So stiffen it up on the highway when you get to trail, you can dampen it so it'll... Yeah, I mean, you might be happy with it where it's at, honestly. Right. So all right, on the dirt, it feels really good right now with the right. shocks all the way open. Okay. Like the, you can just feel the suspension's doing everything. Right. But you, the van, inside the van is... So you're just kind of... No more of this. Just, you know. It's, it's super comfortable. So we've now had this new suspension and lift kit installed in our van for over two months. And I thought it'd be helpful to, at the end of this video, give you kind of my general opinions as a purchaser of these products for what I think about their value. Because to give you some perspective, I've always been a suspension skeptic. I've seen people put this on their off-road rigs for years, and I honestly always kind of just thought, what's, what's the point? How much improved performance are you gonna get over the stock stuff? And I give you that disclaimer because I fear that I'm gonna come across way too enthusiastic and excited. Uh, trust me, it's been months, so my initial excitement over new things has definitely dissipated, but my stoke for this suspension has sustained. Uh, so that's my review. It's, it's incredible. It makes a massive difference. And 
I think the reason why it makes a big difference is because when vans come off the production line, they're built to handle lots of different driving scenarios and aren't specifically tailored to any one of them. And so a delivery van like mine behind me isn't necessarily most optimized to drive at the heaviest weight more often because then it would drive terrible when it's empty. And for a lot of the, the lifetime of the van, I've had it pretty empty, but now with this official build inside, it's, it's a heavier van. So getting suspension that's tuned for that weight of van with the improved leaf springs, it's just, it drives like a cloud. I, I took Janelle down some old logging roads that normally when we approach potholes, we have to do that whole weaving thing and just drive at like 15 kilometers an hour. And now we just drive down the logging roads going fairly quickly. Obviously this is all subjective because it's, it's not a scientific test of which roads and that, but the performance, I thought I would maybe notice it in the first week and then it would just become normal to me. But I, Janelle has like had to tell me to stop getting so stoked every time we drive down a back road because I'm just, I'm just pumped that we can drive it smoothly. It's, it makes me feel foolish for not installing the suspension earlier because I purchased it over a year ago and just did not prioritize installing it. Clearance wise, with the lift kit, I greatly appreciate the better departure angle. That was kind of our Achilles heel every time we went on any sort of off-road trail that became more than a logging road. We would be scraping our rear end all over the place and getting very close in the middle. So any increased ride height actually makes a big difference for me. And now that we have the lift kit, we can technically install bigger tires when I replace these. So I might consider doing that, maybe going to a 265. I'm at a 245 right now. So we could go to 265, maybe 275. So that's something I would consider, but then obviously uh, my, our mileage on the highway is gonna go down a little bit. So that's uh, some of my thoughts at the end here of this video. Big props to the Van Compass guys, Mark and Rob. Thank you for putting up with the rust on my van. I did not know how bad it was and I know for sure you did not and maybe if you did know you wouldn't have uh, agreed to work on it so i'm kind of glad that you didn't know but i'm super grateful for the incredible work that you guys put in and uh yeah i'm just pumped so that's gonna be it for this one i'll catch you in the next video and remember life's better when you make stuff